How do? Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. It's carving day. Hooray! Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, right, here we go. We have the body. I've taken the metal work off because we don't want chisels to go anywhere near that. I've kept the pick guard on so that the carving of the wings can be kept at the correct level in relation to that pick guard. So that's quite important. Um, you can see I've also given us a, a better, closer finished shape all the way around. So that was just using the stop cut technique. So lots of little saw lines, chisel it through. I could have made a router template, but that would mean more power tools would to use more power tools. And who wants to do that? Uh, so today we will be carving some of these parts. Oh. What I'm gonna do very first though is put these comfort carves in that a strap would always have. Um, still leaving me with a little bit of meat to carve away from so we need to sort those bits out first so the arm calves and the back belly calves and things like that then we'll get in with those carving chisels down here oh. nick me knocking stick those nick me knocking stick uh, so what i'm going to do for these comfort calves is just mark off where the actual thickness of the body would be along here so just drawing a little line so that's where the body's going to be at the back and then on this side it's going to go from here and it's going to go top of that curve there usually or well, that's uh, about that thick is where the body would come to so you kind of be having the the normal strap carve would get you to there which would then come back out again something like that okay and then the back one would be coming through. Now I want this thickness here on top of that line. So that's where the original strap body would be. But my wings want to be that little bit fatter than there. So that's what I want to get rid of straight away. Super quick and dirty, little bit of relief carve, that's all I'm showing you of the back. <laughs> You'll have to wait for that. Uh, but yeah, just really just taking big chunks off there. Um, obviously that's not going to be the finished level because we've got to sort the wings out and they will go down quite a lot from there. But it's just got rid of an awful lot of meat. Chisels at the ready, strop block and polishing compound to keep everything honed up. Right, let's get going. Now I've been really looking forward to this, but this is without doubt the scariest part of any chisel carving that you ever do, is that first strike. So just get it over and done with. Ah, right, okay, okay, now we can continue. There's some parts here, because we're going totally against the grain there, um, I've taken some chunks off and then we'll actually round that over with a rasp and a file instead of a chisel, because this soft pine just wants to split. Uh, if we get that close up there, you can see it's just not clean as we start going straight down into the wood. Doesn't like it. Whereas going across the grain, like that one was, gives us a beautiful shiny finish 
that won't even need sanding. Now, there's two very basic rules with carving. Uh, the first one is the most important one, and that's to always carve downhill. So notice I'm coming in here and I'm literally going down every time I cut. Um, if I try to chisel upwards, well, yeah, it's gonna be uncomfortable, but it will dig in and it'll start to split that wood off. We also need to think downhill in relation to the grain lines that we have here as well. So notice along these edges, I'm carving down in relation to those stripes. I'm not carving that way because again, that would split those, uh, those grain sections off. So from here, I don't wanna be coming in like this because that will split off that whole section. So as I've carved downhill from there, at this point, I would need to then switch to here to carve downhill into this area. Yeah, while we're going through here, I've been checking out the competition on YouTube, all the different channels, all the different guys and gals that have been making these guitars for the unofficial build off. And I tell you what, they're good. They're really, really good. Um, so I've definitely got to make sure that this is as good a job as I can get. I'm gonna put a little remit on things straight away, get out claws. This pine is not the right material for carving. Okay. <laughs> now that might sound like a really silly thing, uh, but it's totally and utterly true. Um, Good woods for carving are things that don't have grain in them or very, very little smooth grain patterns in them. So where you can see big thick grain lines in here, uh, what that means is the light stuff is super soft and the darker lines are super hard. So even with a really sharp chisel, um, it's not gonna wanna play ball in a lot of occasions. When we get, start getting into fine detail work, it's not going to work very well. It's going to be really, really awkward. Now we chose this wood for a purpose. We're making angel wings and I had some church pew wood. I just had to make it out of that. Uh, but it is going to create problems as we go through. Uh, the grain, the pine that this is, uh, just doesn't fold itself nicely uh, into carving stuff. So that's my little get out clause if it all turns out to be rubbish. Once we've done that little score line, I'm going to come in with the chisel and come up and just cut into that little bits at a time. To try and take that in like that. You can see we just step down a fraction at that point really is just little bits there you go just that tiny little chip in there now you can see here where a sharp chisel really really comes into play um, I'm, I'm almost drawing with it I'm using such little pressure here I'm almost holding the chisel like a pen and I'm doing 3d drawing with it Now, if you're sat there thinking, oh, I fancy having a go at some carving, but I don't know where to start. Well, it just so happens I've got a couple of videos on that. I'll put the links in the description down below and they'll be on the end cards as well at the end of this video. A little beginner tricks uh, where we can carve something simple like a nice smiley face like this. A couple of different things to be doing on there. All just done with a flat chisel. Nothing expensive, nothing pricey. Have a go. See what you come up with. So we're starting to get some shape on this front section here. 
Uh, but what I need to be thinking about is it starting to rotate into the back because it all needs to blend round obviously all the way through. Notice when we do that, we're keeping the knife at a really low angle. It's much easier for you to decide where that knife's gonna go if we do that. If we make it really sharp and pointy like that, it will fall into grains and it'll twist and get pulled off where you don't want it to be. So a nice low angle on your knife will give you a much better result uh, and give you precision and control over where you want everything to be. Well, there we go not a bad start to the carving so we've got this little section up here and we've got some kind of outlines of the feathers on there hopefully you can start to see shadows and things forming where we've got the cut lines um, that's taken a good couple of hours to get that far now you'll find when you do these kind of 3d carvings like this the first initial cuts always take the longest time and so you really start to suss out what the wood's doing, what it likes to do, what it doesn't like to do, which tool's going to be best. And then the formulate, the plan and the system that goes through. So on here, we get to kind of repeat the same system all the way through. All these feathers need edging off. So we have that initial shape. And then in the next video, we're going to start putting some detail into those as well. OK, make sure you click like and subscribe to catch the next video as it comes out and see how we fare as we move on and start putting detail into things. Thank you very much for watching, sharpen your tools, and I'll see you soon. God bless.